Alright, what's up YouTube? This is Bait here, back again with my Phoenix Ride Let's Play. And last time we got a fingerprint set from uh, Mr. Edgeword here. Let me just see real quick. Yeah, it's a fingerprinting set and uh, records fingerprints from handprints. Poor comparison with fingerprint file. Fingerprint, print, 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 print. Okay, lots of prints. So, that's good news. And, um, got the screwdriver too, which is really random, at least it seems so. Anyways, we're gonna be moving back to the good old evidence room, through the parking lots, and, oh, Angel Star is not here anymore. Well, that's fine. Uh, blah, 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 blah. police department entrance, and then we go to, yeah, security guards office. And Jake Marshall isn't here either. Okay. Well, let's go to the evidence room. I don't even care to talk to talk with them anyway, so whatever. Whatever. I was just, uh, our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. Yes, that is true. Here in this blood on the detective's evidence locker. Isn't that gumshoe's locker? I think so. Anyways, let's use our secret weapon we just borrowed. Yay! Let's get started. Uh, choose a finger. A finger? A slightly different imprint. Okay, let's choose a finger that we have left behind. Alright, we just left the clearest print. Okay, let's do that. Okay, choose a finger, I shall. I guess I could choose this one or... The thumb looks pretty good. Let's go with the good old thumb. Thumbs up, everyone! Okay. Now it's time to check for prints. And this is the part where you actually need a mic in this game in order to go further. But I think I have it covered, so it should be fine. I checked it before the recording. Should be okay, so... Yeah the mic part so let me just so uh, show you how it's done yes the sparkle okay aluminium powder okay cool how do you do just touch the screen okay cool oh it looks like that did the trick cool 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 once the powder is well spread just blow away the excess Cool, reminds me of that uh, story of a... Uh, how do I do that? That story of uh, three little pigs and a big bad wolf. With your breath, roar. Yay, it's like a, like a birthday cake. Sweet. Whoa, that looks like fun. Might take some getting used to though. Fine. Yeah. Alright, just don't... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, okay, those are the basic of fingerprinting. I guess I better give it a try. Bloop, 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 bloop. And I'm gonna use my magic breath. Whoosh! Ah, you did it, you found one. But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm, now that you mention it, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? I think it means we're out of luck. Out of luck? The person who left this handprint must have worn gloves. We already found one glove earlier. Hmm, I wonder if we could find DNA from the glove. Yes, the person who left the handprint must have worn gloves, indeed. Don't tell me we have been wasting our time. Yeah, it's been like four minutes of the recording already. This BS. Hey, calm down. Oh, oh, already lost my temper. That's just the way it goes sometimes with the scientific investigation. But it does seem a shame. Yeah. While we're at it, uh, why don't we look for other prints? Other prints? Are there any others? Looking at the locker door again closely. Oh yeah, there. There are other fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. 
Okay, let's try our luck. Hmm, outside the blood. Like here. Examine. Do -do 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 -do. Let's go. Whoosh. Nice. The print's so clear, it's dazzling. Tasling? Anyway, this print uh, took a lot of effort to find. Let's match it up right away. Do we have a database? So, we're not done yet. This is quite a process. Well, there's no print in finding... There's no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? Indeed. Okay, we got a fingerprint data. Cool. From Edgeword. And point out the person who, uh, you think left these prints. Huh? How am I supposed to know who it was? You could make a pretty good guess. Okay. Yeah, in different places indeed. That means the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So yeah, whose finger is yeah, gumshoes. Let's compare. I think we have a match. It's gumshoes uh, locker. Yup. Aha! Yes, so this prince belongs to Gumshoe, yes. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this so what look. I guess that's probably because I was thinking so what? There's always next time! Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. Okay. Gotta roll with the punches. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, I, if I remember correctly, there was one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out! Yeah, let's do that. So, can I just examine this locker again? Yes. Right! There was a handprint here. Yes. There goes the sparkling. Check for prints. Okay, let's check for prints. That's the spirit. Oh! What? The area with the blood was wiped away, oh, right? Yeah. Any prints in the area has been wiped away too. Oh, right. So that means no prints. Would you say the probability of your hypothesis is high? Don't ask me! Anyway, we must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Mm -hmm. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Let's go. Select the finger to examine. Um. Are there... Okay, I got nothing. No reaction. I think there should be something going on over here. If there would be something that we could examine. Um. So, let's just go through this whole thing. Hopefully get a reaction somewhere. Wait a minute. There's something here. Cool. Something over here. So let's spread this powder. And magic whoosh. Go. Huh. We got a small print. Uh, give me my best shot. Hmm. What kind of result won't be any good for matching prints, will it? Uh, 
But it doesn't look like we're we'll get a clear result from uh, this print. Okay, let's try finding a different one. So, whoa, here's another one I think. Or was it the same one? Whoosh! Is this the same one? Okay, it was the same one. So, on the right somewhere. Um, I think there was here. Let's see. Whoosh! Oh! Now we got something. This is a really good one. Um, okay. Let's just overuse this powder. Really? Why? Why is it not picking up anything yet? Okay. Wow. Um. Let's try matching it to Bruce Goodman. Nope. Not a match. Not a match. Well, let's try someone else. Who was here anyways? We got... Original Gumshoe. It could be Me Kings. No, doesn't even look close to it. No matches. Let's try Dam Damon Gant. No. Hmm. Whoa. We got four, but no match. Well, who else? I'm thinking, well, it could have been Jake. Yeah, it must be Jake. Yeah, yeah, it's Jake. Yup. 16 matches already. So yeah, Jake was here. Hey, these fingerprints, they... Whose are they? Whose? Someone I know? It's Officer Marshall. So is this locker uh, Marshall's or... Does he have some reason to be... Touching that locker? Marshall, fingerprints added to the code record. Why did it add the bloody print? Because that's obviously not his. Or well, we can't be sure, because, you know, the prints were wiped out. Anyways, that's gotta be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. Well, he is involved with the SL9, which is, you know, involved with our current case, because, you know, bunch of stuff was stolen from the SL9 that was found in the muffler of the current case in the Edgeworth's car, yes. These are uh, what deliberately, decidedly different from uh, Detective Gumshoe's prints. The luminal reaction, the blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. Uh oh. Oh wait, yes. Oh wait, it could have been the same hand, indeed. You know, there were only what three fingers on that. So we have a we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on white blood stain. But why would Officer Marshall? Looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. Le let me just take a quick look at the prints. Yeah, there were only three prints, and I found the fourth one somewhere around here. So yeah, he wiped out the bloody print, but uh, he left some behind. So yeah, that is definitely interesting. I guess this is what you'd call a decisive evidence. I don't believe it. To be continued. Do 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 do. 
yeah, so I think I'm gonna call this episode short here, because uh, we are pretty much done with the investigation now. So let's take a quick sneak peek. I guess, I'm guessing we're in the court. I'm guessing. So let's see. Yup. Uh, so now that we're done, we are done with the investigation, for now at least, uh, I'm gonna call it for the day, and uh, next time when we come back, uh, we're gonna go back to the court. And we have a bunch of evidence, so I'm guessing this one is going to be a long, long trial. So, uh, until then, this is the Flaming Spade, signing out. Peace!